Welcome back everyone to the Space Engineers Planetary Tutorial Series. This time we're going to do the final tutorial number four, Ice Transport and Airlocks. Learn to use a wheeled vehicle to transport heavy materials back to base for processing and be introduced to some basic examples of functioning airlocks for minimizing air loss when entering, exiting a base or ship in a non-breathable environment. They could use some commas in there. Yeah. All right, let's get started. All right, everyone, welcome back. Let's get started. Just spawned in here. Looks like we're on a Mars-like world. Or a Europa-like world. Lots of ice. Load all the loose ice into the Scuttler transport vehicle via the rear connector. When no loose ice remains, the landing gear will unlock and you can drive to the gate. Oh, okay. Gonna just make a, take a big old pile. Of course it is. Load here. There you go. Alright. Let me uh, do this real quick. And we'll be back. Ah, it's coming right at me! That can't be good. Yeah. P for park. Alright. I didn't even put the ice I had on me in there. <laughs> it just started rolling when I picked up the last piece. Alright, let's unpark. Get rolling. Good old sensors. Turned on. Let's see, do we probably back up in here, but let's just go in. Come on! Get in there! Oh yeah, that little jump. Inside the green area, then exit the vehicle. Stop it. Get out. Cool. Yep, had a sensor there. Guess I want me on this side. Alright, you need to connect the vehicle to the station to transfer the ice and produce oxygen. Ride this elevator to the control platform by pressing the button 4. Oh yeah. Oh, slowly sliding off. That happens. Okay, use the control buttons to align the connector on this arm with the connector on the vehicle. Once done, press the switch lock button to connect. The ice will automatically be pulled uh, to the oxygen generator. Let's make this jump. Huh. Switch lock, up and down, all the different arrows, and then this is timers. Hmm. Okay, that makes the whole thing work. So let's get a good view. Let's see how we do that. All right, we gotta go back quite a bit. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, like this. And the timer block is moving the pistons. The various pistons. So we got three pistons. Keeps moving it a little bit. That's cool. Oops, not that one. This one. Get some ways to go. I guess we can start moving this way too. Oh, the whole thing's shaking. Stop shaking. When on on those pistons are all fully extended. That looks about right. Maybe a little more. Yep. Oh, 
That looks pretty close. There we go, dropping it down. Hey, they're connected. Sweet. Switch lock. Locked. Okay, that should automatically do what I needed to do. Now I can get down. I think so. These doors should open automatically when the room is fully pressurized. Looks like they're pressurizing now. Should be making oxygen. Filling the room up. Sweet. And open door. All right, moving on to the next area. Crouch through. Ooh, airlocks, making airlocks. Yeah, I was right, we're on a Mars-like world here. A good airlock can be very useful in space and on worlds without oxygen atmospheres. Airlocks allow you to minimize oxygen loss and avoid depressurization, pushing your character around. Yeah, that's bad. Simple airlock. This is an example of a simple airlock. You only need two doors to make one. When you enter, you need to make sure you close the door behind you before opening the other side. Yeah, one door. Out of space, another door. This airlock is similar to the simple airlock, but also incorporates an air vent and button panel that allow the player to manually depressurize the airlock. This means oxygen in the room is sucked out and stored in a tank for later use, reuse, and no waste. Press button 2 to depressurize. Uh, let's see, so let's open and close the door. Oh, it was already open. Or already closed. Alright, press button 2. It's blue, sucking out the air. This turns the light blue. The room is fully depressurized when the four lit lights have reduced to one. Well, there we go. It's down to one blue. We got some oxygen there. And now... Oh, let's bring the air back in. Got it. Got it. You need space and oxygen tanks to be able to fully depressurize rooms. It is also possible to make automated airlocks, but these are more complex. Yeah, with sensors and all that good jazz. Alright, let's move on. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I just want to know how to make airlocks. Alright, pretty nice and simple. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all next time.